Hello friends, this is Sunil sir and today I am going to teach you the character functions available in Java. So let us begin. I am taking a new class, carefun. Here I will show you each and every function with the help of program. So this is my BlueJ window. This program will work anywhere in any kind of device. So program to learn character functions in Java. So let us begin. I am creating a class. Care fun. If we need input in character form, we can take scanner class. I am taking main to declare a character variable we use care data type so care ch is my variable name I am taking scanner remember children whatever data we write with the help of keyboard is treated as character and string format okay so here if I wanted to take input from the user let us say I am writing enter character so user will enter any character now you all know how to take input using character using scanner class I am writing sc dot next dot caret zero many a time people are making mistakes here they write sc dot next care but in scanner class we don't have next care function okay so sc dot next open and close parenthesis dot caret zero and caret a should be capital okay so input is taken i'm just displaying the input character entered is plus ch this is just a demo program to input a character the program compiled successfully when I am running it is asking me any character I am typing character s and it says character entered is s while typing the character here we never put a single quote okay now let us begin with the character functions the first character function we have to learn is uh, it's is digit function now in Java is digit function will check whether character entered by the user is digit or not okay so our character is already entered remember to use any character function we have to use character wrapper class okay so our character wrapper class is written as character so this function is digit is a boolean kind of function this function takes one argument a character argument and it will return you either true or false depending upon the character so the first function is is digit function okay let us begin so i'm writing here boolean x is equals to character as it is a wrapper class function we have to write entire character dot is digit and in the bracket I am writing my variable name where I have stored the character so this character is entered when I display the message system out print ln okay and displaying the value of x x will show either true or false depending upon whether digit is entered or any other character is entered when I am compiling the program there is no syntax error when I am running the program I am putting character 5 and it says 5 is entered and it is true true means it's a digit but other than digit if I am entering letter R so it says false when I am entering any special character let us assume it's dollar then it will show you the false result okay so our first function will show you true or false depending upon if digit is entered or not entered okay let me adjust the window size little bit so that here I can make a note of all the functions whatever we are 
learning so first function we have learned here is is digit function okay this is the first character function we have learned the next function we are learning is is letter function okay now what this function will do is letter so here instead of is digit i am writing is letter character okay so here this function will check whether the entered character is alphabet or not whether it is small alphabet or capital alphabet it will check so i am compiling the program it says no syntax error when i am running the program now here if i am entering a digit 5 i'll get answer as a false because 5 is not an alphabet so you can see here it is showing us the result false okay let me try any other character i am trying capital d and it says true so d is an alphabet i am trying letter a it says it is true so any capital or small alphabet is entered this function will give you answer as a true otherwise it will give you answer as a false so the second function we have learned here is is character or sorry is letter okay after is letter the next function is i wanted to check whether it is letter or digit both are allowed so is letter or digit this is the name of the function this is the name of the function we are writing here is letter or digit let us try <coughs> So here I am typing is letter or digit. Let us check. When I compile it says no syntax error. Now here all the letters I, that means alphabets and digits are allowed. Only special characters are not allowed. So when I am compiling it doesn't show any error. When I am running this program I am writing letter A. It says it is true. When I am entering number 5 it says it is true. But when I am entering a hashtag, it will, sh it will show the result false. Okay. So we have is letter or digit function. Okay. Okay. So the next function is, is lowercase function. This function will do what? This function will check whether the character entered by user is in lowercase alphabet or not. Okay, while writing L and C should be in capital, all other letters should be in small letter and this character wrapper class should be entered here. So when I am compiling the program, there is no syntax error. When I am running the program, if I am putting a capital alphabet T, it shows false. Why? Because it is not in lowercase. But when I am writing small d, it says true anything other than small alphabet is written let us assume any digit is written or special character is written it will always give you answer as a false okay only small alphabet is written then and only then answer will come as a true the next function is is uppercase remember children all this is kind of function is letter is digit is small is capital that is is upper is lower all these function will return the boolean answer all these functions will return a boolean answer so i am trying now is uppercase so we are checking whether the character entered by the user is in uppercase or not okay so when i am compiling there is no syntax error when I am running this program, if I enter a capital D, it says true. Anything capital D, capital alphabet is entered, it is always a false result. Okay? Understood this much? Okay, moving forward, is letter, is letter or digit, then we have is space care. Okay? Next function is, is space care. Okay, this function will do what? This function will check whether the character entered by the user is a space or not. Okay, but the problem here is, I am writing is space care. 
okay but system will not accept space from keyboard when i am running the program if i am putting a space and putting enter it is not accepting my input if i am putting any character or other than that everything will be taken off but when i am taking a space it will not allow me so in that case what i will do i am not taking input from the user instead of that here i am putting a space so character equal to in single quotes i wrote a space here okay now when i compile there is no syntax error and when i am running the program it says true why it is telling me true because the space is entered in the variable okay so the function was is space cap okay this is very much similar to is white space function okay now in is white space white space is a single word with a w capital okay so instead of writing is space care i can write is white space okay so i wrote is white space i have compiled no syntax error okay no matter what character i will enter here it will give me answer true because the ready made input is already given here in the variable okay understood this much is white space okay so is letter is digit is letter or digit lower case upper case space care white care all these are is kind of functions available in java okay the next kind of function is a conversion function that will convert that will convert uh, capital to small and small to capital so these are two different functions it is two upper case the job of two upper case is to convert small letter to capital letter okay let us try this so here i am taking input from the user now this is not a boolean uh, kind of function it is a character type of a function okay the output will come in a single character so here i am writing two upper case my function is two upper case the so job of two upper case is to convert small letter into capital letter later on i will show you how to do it without functions also so i am putting a small alphabet and you can see it is converted into capital but what if i am providing direct capital alphabet then there will be no change okay it will return you character in that format what if there are character i am entering which cannot be converted into capital for example i am putting 5 so 5 we cannot convert in capital right so here the answer will be 5 only okay same thing happens when you put any special character okay so it is same to same your special character is written understood two upper case yes the next function is twin brother of upper case it is lower case function when i am compiling there is no syntax error but now job of this is to convert capital to small you can see capital d was entered and now answer is small d when i am putting any other character other than capital alphabet there is no change there is no change okay so the next function we learn is to lower case to lower case okay understood all these functions so 3 plus 3 6 plus 3 9 functions we did okay after that okay after all these functions we have couple of uh, conversion function okay but that function will only works with a string they never work with a single character okay what if i don't know the function or in exam if i don't remember the function which function i have to try to convert capital to small or small to capital in that case we have a simple function or without using function also we can do that let us assume this function is not used i have a character x and someone has entered a small character and i wanted to convert it into capital but before learning this will you be able to tell me uh, what exactly the ascii code is have you ever heard this word ascii code 
ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. Okay, this is the name of the name of the uh, values by which our keyboard is uh, denoting any character. Okay, so whenever I type any character from the keyboard, how system is understanding which key is exactly pressed. So here the code is generated whenever you press any key and these codes are fixed. The codes are fixed codes. Okay, for capital A, it is 65. For small A, it is 97. And for zero, it is 48. For 0, the code is 48. If capital A is 65, what will be a capital B? Capital B will be 66. Small a is 97. Then what about capital A? Sorry, what about small b? Small b is 98. So you see the difference between capital A and small a is of 32. The difference is of 32. Two. Let me show you these ASCII characters, how to convert any character into ASCII character. Let us assume I have a variable int x and I am simply writing x equal to character. Okay, now int is an integer value, it is not storing any character, whereas ch is my character variable. Okay, I am compiling, it is not showing me any error, but now whichever letter I will enter, let us assume capital A is entered, capital A is 65. So answer is 65. Okay. Same way if I am entering a small a, it is showing me 97. If I am putting character 0, then the answer is 48. Okay. Are you getting this? So here, if I wanted to convert small to capital or capital to small, how can I do that? Okay. So what you do? You write uh, one simple thing. If it is in capital format and you wanted to make it small. So you write character minus equal to 32. Character that variable minus equal to 32. So then when I print the character again. Okay. I am putting a small letter D. And it is showing me the capital letter D. So conversion has happened without using function. Same thing happens when you write character plus equal to 32. So this will convert capital to small. Okay, when I am running this program, I am putting a capital letter and it is showing me the small letter. Understood everyone? Yes, so without functions also, we can convert all these uh, letters in, in capital to small or small to capital. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for being here. We have learned some character functions today. I hope this will help you in your exams as well. Thank you so much. Please make a note of this program if you wanted to.